G'day, it's Dave again. Uh, we're here at the Menton Creek Museum to have a look at another couple of locomotives in our fleet. Let's go check them out. Alright, so this is our Climax locomotive. Uh, it was built by the Climax company in uh, Pennsylvania in America in 1928. If you look at the, the number plate, or the, the number that's written on the side of it, it says 1694. 1694 was the last number ever issued by the, the Climax Locomotive Company. Um, there's some debate to whether it was actually the last engine they ever built, or was it just they, they had a bucket of numbers and they pulled one out and just threw it on the side and they built some more after that, had lower numbers, but as far as numbers go, it's the lowest one. So the Climaxes are interesting, it's an interesting locomotive in that it's a geared locomotive, so instead of the cylinder or the, the connecting rod directly driving the wheels, it drives a, a, a jack shaft across the engine and then the shafts that take the power from there to the, to the wheels and they're geared. It's interesting because it's, it's, it's geared down, so this part spins around really quickly and the wheels go really slow. It's designed to have, I guess, a bit of torque and just wanders up hills kind of like a wagon bike. Um, it's also interesting in that it's wood fired, so you can see up in our bunker here we have a heap of wood, which is different from our other engines which burn coal or oil. So this one isn't Victorian railways per se, it was a Victorian engine used down in, in Gippsland near a place near Erica called Tyres Valley. Uh, it was used as a logging engine, it used to haul logs out of the forest and take them to the, to the narrow gauge railway in Gippsland and then NGG 16127. If you remember from last week's video, we looked at NGG 16129. Um, this is effectively its sister or another NGG type engine from South Africa. The difference being is, as I said last week, we've re gauged NGG 16129 to our um, two foot six gauge, where this one still is in its original two foot gauge state. If you take a look down here, you can kind of see the example of what we've done is in where the wheel chunk is in here and the wheel you can see there's a rail on the inside and there's a rail on the outside so the inner rail here is two foot gauge and this one's two foot six so all the stuff that kind of goes across the engine on the engine units has been stretched out by, by six inches to make it fit our railway so last week we looked at some of the NA class locomotives at Belgrave this is a, another one which I didn't mention then we've sort of had its what's left of 3A, so the, the frames and the, the cylinders mostly is what constitutes what's left. Uh, what's interesting about this is we can see a bit more what's underneath our NA class locomotives and there's some sort of interesting features and one of them is a cylinder block. So the NA class locomotive were originally designed by the Baldwin Locomotive Company and one of the features which is sort of very common on Baldwin locomotives of this vintage is that they had cylinders that were split in two halves. So if you see down the middle here, you've got a cylinder on that side and a cylinder on that side, and the smoke box will sit on the boiler will sit in between here. These two cylinders, although they're on the opposite sides of the engine, they're exactly the same. So they only designed one casting which you then just spin around the other way and then you've got another one so they put bolted in the middle. It does have some shortcomings that you've got this bolted connection down the middle of the cylinders and water can get in and this one's getting quite rusty in between and sort of opening up. But um, this is what's effectively underneath all of our NAs and we are, are aware of that these things won't last forever. So we've actually got some new cylinders cast in our storage shed at Gembrook which we can use when we want to choose them, choose to use them, shall I say. So also another interesting thing is that one of the reasons why we've got new cylinders is that these, what we call lens rings anyway, often wear out. Um, and this one's had a, a repair job done on it where they've tried to, they obviously had the problem back in the VI days as well, and they've tried to repair the lens ring surface to get good steel. All right, so that gives us a bit of a, a good overview of some of the Puffy Billy locomotive fleet. Um, stay tuned, there will be a, a virtual tour of the museum as well, which is sure to be good. There's lots of good stuff in here, and if you get a chance, you can come check that yourself. All right, thanks again.